we're going to uh, remove the chain from the XLT oven and to do that we need to remove the chain cover and you've got two grub screws here on the older machines you have grub screws on the newer ones we've got two little uh, round nuts so you need a, a Phillips screwdriver to take those off a slightly older model here I'll take these two little thumb screws out and then the chain cover just comes off to make the process a little bit easier uh, once you've undone the uh, chain cover or vice versa remove the crumb tray so just take the crumb trays out of the oven on both sides next thing we want to do is we want to remove the chain at the moment is in its fixed position it's it's tight uh, and the way to do that is lift this up quickly just a couple of inches and then just push that in and it allows the chain to be completely loose you just get your finger around there and actually just lift that off a little bit greasy um, and that's us uh, with the chain removed now that we've got the chain off of the actual uh, um, whole belt we can move this with our hand all the way along one thing that's really important to note um, this oven was commissioned uh, left to right so it means the pizzas are going in on the left hand side and coming out on this side on the right and if you look at these links here you'll see that these links are nice and flat on the top and also they're all closed going in the direction of the pizza so this is the correct this is the correct way of actually um, using this oven left to right with this belt already as it is with these links in this position for instance if we actually changed the uh, belt direction using the controller uh, and this was going the other way so how you going that way right to left this is wrong and what we'd have to do is take the belt completely off the frame um, roll it all up swing it round and actually put this traveling in the other direction now I'm going to show you how to remove the belt from the frame and the best way to do that is continue to just keep pulling this round with your hands and we're trying to look for the open links and there they are there you can just see them all the way across there the open links and there's only one on each oven we want to carefully remove these links and to do that you need a, a, a proper set of pliers little ball nose ones similar to what we've got here don't use any uh, tin snips or anything that's going to cut into the belt so a proper pair of pliers is what you need and if you can just see here where these closed links are I'm just going to bend that out and pull that off that's one down that just comes out underneath it sort of knits itself together and that one there is just going to come off around the bottom hmm. take it from the top instead and then the next one it's going to just come off as well you can just see they knit themselves together that I'm just going to keep these at the top here one thing that's a good little idea is to actually lay them out in the way that they actually come back or actually the way, sorry, the way they come off so you can put them back properly Okay, so the purpose of doing this on the video is to show you these links on here and how to take the chain off. Uh, this is obviously a new machine, but um, if this was dirty and needed cleaning, you then just literally just roll this up all the way.
then you can go and then take that outside in the sink, spray it with detergent, jet wash it and get it nice and clean. To put this back then, once it's cleaned, go underneath the front sprocket, pull it back through and goes underneath and through the oven. to join it back up back up into place which is what I'm going to do now you can see I put the belt back onto the frame but it's actually really tight because it's a brand new belt so this is you can you have to really pull this hard to get those joining clips on there so what I'm going to do on the other end of the frame are some um, securing screws similar to this and I'm going to undo them to release the actual belt tension so allow us to put this back on there and then we can actually then put the tension back on the other side. At one end of the frame we've got this adjuster there's two two screws here two on the other side. As the actual belt wears a little bit and gets looser you can unscrew these and pull these back to make sure it's got a nice tension to it because you don't want it to be loose. Because this is a brand new frame I'm actually going to release these to allow us to actually get the uh, clips back on and then bring it's easier to bring this back and actually screw these in. Just going to undo these screws. This two here. Freeze that up to give us a bit of give us a bit of movement. See now we've got plenty of space to do these. Um, it's just like a little bit of knitting, so that goes on there, and the other one goes around there. That goes through there, and then that actually goes back up through there. So if you just got to follow the follow the system. And that just knits back there make sure it's all nice and smooth it can go all different ways but that's the way it is I always suggest that you do one belt first rather than take both off so you've always got one to actually use as a reference and these little end pieces here just make sure that they're actually not standing proud and they're and they're raised down and then the next one that's going to go in like so goes through there. It's much easier and I haven't got any
last one. Oops, all right. And that's it. Just make sure they always bend down. That's that done. All back. Sometimes this is very difficult to pull this back, especially when it's new, because we want to try and get the two screws into the first holes there. Just a little trick, either use a, a large screwdriver or a wrench or something in there. This is exactly what I'm going to do though, just pull this back and then um, pull it back in such a way. I don't know if you can. that in there. So I'm just gonna pull this in to just get this a little bit lined up. Sure, these are really nice and tight. So pull this one back, and then got the another fixing in there. Last couple of steps just to put the chain back on. Bring that round on there. And then um, just got to pull this back. That's it, into position. Last up the least. Pop the thumb screws back or the new style little round fix-ins if you've got a newer machine and that's it good to go that's it done